Everybody, welcome to the vlog. My name is Steph, and let's talk about pricing out a contract uh, as a freelance developer. This is a question that was put to me today, and I'm just going to give you a quick answer because I'm just a little bit too busy to go into all kinds of details. So number one, when you are first starting to price out jobs, whether you're a software developer, creating uh, apps from scratch, or you're building websites, or you're modifying WordPress, templates, what have you. So what you should do is uh, you do your estimate as best you can. And then what you got to do is you should probably multiply that ep estimate by 2.4. So if you figure it's going to take you 10 hours, bid 24 hours. Why? Because typically, especially when you're in the beginning, you're going to under quote how much time something takes to get done. This is very common that people new will under quote because you just you lose track of how long it takes to do things. So yeah, so you make your best guesstimate in terms of how long, how much time it's going to take, and then you multiply that by 2.4, you get a more accurate assessment of what it is, uh, what how much time something's going to take to do. The problem that people are faced, like this guy who was talking to me today, was that he always seems to underquote. At least that's the impression. So if he quotes. 10 hours and actually takes him 20 hours, he's, his pay is effectively cut in half, right? Because most clients, by the way, when they're hiring you as a developer, they are not going to want to pay you by the hour. They're going to want to know your per hour rate, but then they're going to say, well, I'm going to pay X amount of dollars for this project. So you give them a quote and that's how it's going to work 90% of the time. This will change when you uh, get more experience and your clients come to know you, have relationships, then you can start billing by the hour. But typically, especially when you're a freelancer, small beginner, they're going to want fixed rates on a particular project that you, that you build for them. What you got to do, though, over time is improve your ability to assess how much time it takes you to do something. So how do you do this? Well, you take detailed and meticulous logs. That's what you got to do. It's a bit of a pain at first, I know, but when you quote a project, you should have your one, two page quote, and I've talked about this in other vlogs, and then you should line item, you know, to build the database, it's gonna take me four hours or five hours, whatever it is. To, to build the UI, it's gonna take me 10 hours, blah, 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 blah. You should detail this, some pretty good details, so that when you actually start building your project, you start noting exactly how much time it takes you to build out the database. You say, I'm building out a 20 table database and it's taken me 10 hours or five hours or whatever it is, or four hours to plan it all out. And you gotta keep meticulous logs by uh, breaking down the project from uh, database, views, UX work, uh, middle, layer, middle layer work, et cetera, et cetera, setup, basic setup, uh, deployment times, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you got to categorize it this way and keep meticulous logs so that at the end of the project, you can compare your quote, your estimate versus what the real time was. And what you find oh, very quickly, usually about three or four projects, you'll be able to see how you and where you underestimated and you're going to become much more accurate with your quotes. But you won't get more accurate unless you start doing, as I said, keep meticulous logs, compare and contrast your, your quotes, your estimates with the reality of the situation. You do this and you're going to be much better off in the end as a software developer. Hope that helps.